I live in more than enough. I live in abundance. Every seed of disgrace that has been sown in your life is uprooted this morning. It's uprooted this morning. Though the enemy plan it for evil, God is turning it around for your good. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Very quickly, God's word. I, I was told by my august that I should ensure that I finish service early. I'm going to try my best to do that. All right? Um, if you have your Bible, Second Chronicles 20 and 20. Second Chronicles 20, 20. Um, and then we'll read Ezra chapter 6 verse 14. Normally, it will take me an hour to explain one verse. But I'm praying for grace to do it in 15 minutes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You believe that, say, believe in amen with me. Hallelujah. When people shout the amen so much, I know they doubt us. Glory to God. Second Chronicles 20 and verse 20. So they rose early in the morning and went out to the wilderness of Tekoa. That's why you should rise early in the morning. <laughs> and as they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, this was the king. The prophecy had already come. So this was the king speaking after the prophecy. Now listen to what the king said. The king said, Hear me, O Judah, and O you inhabitants of Jerusalem. So I'm speaking to you. Hear me, O ransomed of the Lord. And everyone whose God's word has come to believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe his prospects, and you shall prosper. Ezra chapter 6 and then verse 14. Ezra chapter 6 and then verse 14. Are you there? Are you there? So the elders of the Jews built and they prospered. How did they prosper? Through the prophesying of Agai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo. And they built and finished it. So it's not like the, the abandoned projects. You know I said it last week. It's the year of finishing. And they built and finished it according to the commandment of the God of Israel, according to the command of Cyrus, Darius, uh, and Atasus, the king uh, of Persia. Today, for a few minutes, I'm speaking on prospering by the prophetic word. Look at your neighbor and say, prospering? prospering. How? How? Ask him how. Ah, thank you. So, uh, brilliant people are in class. Look at your next favorite neighbor, the one you didn't turn to the last time and say prospering prospering ow prospering by the prophetic word let us pray father thank you the entrance of your word will give light it will give understanding this morning as simple souls we've come not because we are fools but because we are wise therefore we have come to the table where wisdom is shared to learn at your feet father i ask that i make my tongue the pen of a ready writer I write the word of life upon the spirit of man. Your word distilled like a pure milk even upon the heart of your people. Thank you, Father. Because after now, we are all better people. After now, we are all working according to your mandate and counsel for our lives. In Jesus' matchless name, we are prayed. Can I have a believing amen? amen? Can I have a believing amen? amen? Have your seats like a king that you are. I want to start out by saying that God wants us to prosper. God wants us to prosper. I want to start out by saying that God wants us to prosper. The Bible says in Psalms 35 and then verse 27, the Bible says the Lord delights in the prosperity of his people so that your prosperity makes God happy. The fact that you are not prospering makes one, one being sad. If you, are, you say, oh, they don't want me to prosper in my family. Alright, so that your prosperity does not bring so much joy in your neighborhood. I know a being that your prosperity delights and his name is Jehovah. The Bible says he delights, he is happy, he is excited at the prosperity of his people. Therefore, when you are lifted at your place of work, when you are promoted, when you close that deal, God is happy. Because God delights in the prosperity of his people. Settle it in your mind. God is interested in your prosperity. 2023 is not that year where you struggle. It's that year where you prosper. How do I know? Because we are a people of the word. We stand upon the promises of God's word and God's word becomes true in our life. The Bible says in John 2 
The Bible says, I wish above all things. That means I wish many things for you. But above all things that I wish for you is that you prosper and you be in health, even as your soul prospers. So one of the high things in the mind of God for our lives is that we prosper. Is that we prosper. Prosperity is one of God's delights. One of the things God wants you and I to move in. He said you should grow like a palm tree and flourish like cedar even in Lebanon. 92, 12 of the book of Psalms. God's delight in us to prosper. God doesn't just want us to prosper, I've discovered. Because there's a difference between wanting something to happen to you and then equipping you for that thing to happen. So there are situations and there are times where people will want something from you or for you, but you don't have the empowerment to do it. Uh, I could call somebody now and say, go on that street just beside this place and pick up uh, a C-class 250 bands for me. Even though you delight to buy it for your pastor because you like your pastor, the question is, do you have enough financial resource in your account to do that? So that you don't just go to the supermarket and pick me a toy that looks like a C-class. Are you following what I'm saying? So, it's not that you are not willing to, it's not that you don't delight. I mean, I've discovered that even these days, people don't want their pastor to be poor anymore. So you don't even mind your pastor driving a C-class and you even snap with it and say, see how we, this is how we ball. This is how we roll. But the gist is that can you, are you empowered to do that? Do you have the resources to back your desires up? What I've discovered with God is that God does not just delight and desire that we prosper. God also has given us the ability to prosper. He has given us the empowering to prosper. And one of that divine empowering is by prophecy, is by the prophetic word. The Bible says uh, that believe the Lord your God, 2 Chronicles 20, 20, and you will be established. Believe his prophet. What does the prophet do? Is it the person of the prophet that makes the prophet uh, good? No, it is the functionality of that office. The prophet is in the office of a prophet, but it is not the delight. Oh, I'm very close to prophet Ezekiah. That's not the gist. It doesn't mean anything to you. It is what the prophet says that actually unleashes you to prosper. So you prosper by the word. Therefore, the Bible says, and believe his prophets and you will prosper. Believe what he has said and you will prosper. So that your prosperity is inched on your believing on the prophetic word. So the prophetic word for us as a house, somebody said, I don't even know what God is saying. You don't have to also have a personal or what I call a prosemic word from God. You can go in the light and in the flight even of the general word, which is what he has given us as a house. What is that word? I can't hear you. Audacious performances. He has said it. Will he not do it as he promised? Won't he make it good? If you have a word from God, you have enough resource to prosper. If you have a word from God, the resources are there. Listen to this. He who speaks a word determines the potency of the word. Are you following me? He who speaks a word determines the potency of the word. Open up. So Obina is angry. He's just pretend like you're angry. <laughs> Some people are so into God that to even do anger, it's difficult. It's difficult. But pretend like you're angry. Right? <laughs> so, come. I assume God, this, this is that season of Christmas, right? So you have clothes. I know many of you don't do a short do anymore. But remember those days when you used to do a short do. So you're angry with his tailor. You, you're angry with his, your tailor. So you're angry with him. Because your clothes was not delivered. Your clothes was not delivered. You understand? Maybe we should not make it Christmas. Let's make it your wedding clothes was not delivered. I want to increase the level of hunger. Do you understand? Uh -huh. Now, if you now look at him and say, lock him up. So say that word. Now, how many, is this anger now? Is this anger? Obina's version of anger. I, I wish it was George, street boys. Or Adewale. Now, do you know that if he says lock him up, 
and he says it even in the police station. Lock him up. They will look at him and will not lock him up. Do you know that? Because we in B. Do you understand what I'm saying? We not just Obina. We in B. It's not Obina Buari. It's just Obina. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not Obina Sanwolu. It's just Obina. So he said, lock him up. The potency of the word release does not mean it's going to be acted on. But imagine that he is the president of Nigeria. Imagine he's not even angry, but he's the president of Nigeria. Are you following what I'm saying? Imagine he's drunk and he's the president of Nigeria. And he just says, lock him up and sleeps. Do you think they will not lock him up? When he says it, the DSS guys, they, they will not even ask, are you serious, sir? They have, I say law, law, they have carried him. And he has gone. Remember recently somebody was making joke on social media. People were even looking for him. You understand? That tells you of power. They just say, law, president. They won't look at him. That's what happened in scriptures. The king Aserus and Haman. Esther was there. Esther was trying to beg Esther. I mean, Amman was trying to beg Esther for her own life. Like, Amman was begging, said, don't. And the Bible says the king came and said, ah, he didn't see anything. They carried him and they took him out. Why? Because of the ah, the potency of the word. So God even just saying, hey, concerning your case, angels are. Yeah. Now, when God said audacious performances, he doesn't have to watch over it. Because the president said lock him up and slept. The DSS carried it. The moment God said audacious performances concerning your life, the angels that do the biddings of God are released. When the prophetic word is released, he does not need your watering. Are you following what I'm saying? What he needs is God saying it and the angels immediately, they just start acting. Now you go on the beg. Say, sorry, we, the, the performances is getting too much. Because it's going to do so much because it is the word of the king. And where the word of the king is, 8th of Ecclesiastes, there's power. And who they ask him, what do we have? Nobody. He's the king of kings. When he says it, angels are released already. So I know concerning your life that you are not normal. I know that you are not alone. I know the escort around you they can't see it, but they are great. If I should pray that the Lord will open your eyes, your Bugal level will be greater than the guy that sang that song. You know why? Because you know that you are not alone. It is what happens when you have insight. There is a way you carry yourself. There is a way you move differently. Because he has said it. And it's not that he will do it. Now I said if he was the president, even if he sleeps, they will do the word. Are you following what I'm saying? That's why people always say, let Buari say something. Because they understand the power in presidency. If you say level the village, you are wasting your time. They will level it and start talking about why did we level the village. You obey the last order. God has said audacious performances, whether you are deserving on it or not. God's word, the angels must first of all obey his last order. Now the difference between God and a drunk king is that Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12 now says that God watches over his word to perform it. So he doesn't just say it and roll over like the drunk king. He says it and begins to look at the word as the word takes flight in your life. Can I say somebody that the word is taking flight in his life? God bless you. Have you seen? Do you have a word from God? I do. I have a word. It's time to rejoice. It's time to rejoice. It's time to celebrate. It's time to rejoice. Listen, nothing ever happens to me without me having a clue from God that it's going to happen. In fact, it's, it's difficult to surprise some people like us. I was with a friend, brother, and, and I said, I, they called me. He said they should call me that. Um, they should call me and tell me about, I told him I was in town. They announced that they should call me about his birthday party. Now, he was not supposed to know about the birthday party. It was a surprise birthday party. He was already calling them to call me. I said, how far? He said, they, they don't know that they can't surprise people like us. Uh, they have given me the details. I already seen it. So I just, I said, so it's not, he said, let us pretend that I'm surprised. But we all know that there's no surprise. You know why? Because God reveals secrets. The secret things belong to the Lord. Uh, are you following me? Throwing chapter 29, 29. The secret things belong to the Lord. The things that are revealed belong to us and to our children forever. 
You should know things. Before it happens, it, it should not shock you. 2023, things should not shock you. Are you following what I'm saying? You should be that spiritual. Your insights, your understanding should be great and higher. Your perception, spiritual perception should be on point. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 9 to 11. Scripture made it exceedingly and abundantly clear. It's not something you think about. Scripture made it exceedingly and abundantly clear. The eyes have not seen, here have not had, neither has he entered to the mind of men the things which God has prepared for those that love him. But we know the things. He said, because we have the mind of God. Paul, Paul, Paul had an understanding. I know what God is thinking. He said, so that we may know the things which are freely given to us. I am not deaf or dumb. I know what God is doing in our time. I'm not moved by the news. I am moved by God's report. I'm not moved by what people say. I am moved by what God has said. If he has said it, that's the only thing that moves me. I plan my life by what God said, not by what the newspaper said. I don't need the experts. I need God. I don't need medical reports. I need God's report. He said, you are healed, then I'm healed. He said, I'm blessed, then I'm blessed. He said, audacious performances. I'm not going to be moved by whatever you say. People say, don't invest. I invest because it's an audacious performance. So the more the seed I put on the ground, the more it yields. The more it performs. Glory to God. Glory to God. Listen, whatever God says, he's going to do it. Let, let, me, let me teach you the prophetic a little here. What are the prophetic words? What are the prophetic words? Number one, they are the revealed will of God concerning a people. The prophetic word are the revealed will of God concerning the people. For a time, for a season. The will of God for a generation, for a family, for an individual. The revealed mind of God. Those are prophetic words. So when somebody says, it gives me, it gives me prophecy. He's telling you, giving you a clue concerning a time, concerning a season. For I know the counsel I have towards you, say the Lord. They are thought of good, not of evil. To give you a future and a hope. Sometimes God downloads that footprint to man. Sometimes God gives that footprint, that, that thing in his mind. He allows some people to see it and then he reveals it. When I say some people, it could be you. Because God's first call is not to tell people about you, it's to tell you about you. Somebody following me. For the counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plan of his heart from generation to generation. Type 3, 11 of the book of Psalms. And then number 2, they are not sourced or inspired by the human mind. Prophecy are not sourced or inspired by the human mind. Therefore, I cannot come here now and start saying, there's somebody here. You are getting married next year. You see, you can't have a church of 2,000 people and say somebody's getting married next year. Of course. By logic, one person or five persons should get married next year. It's not human mind. It is as revealed of the Lord. They are inspired by the Holy Spirit. First Peter chapter 1, verse 21. The Bible says, Only men spoke as they were moved of the Spirit of God. Only men spoke as they were moved of the Spirit of God. You don't have to say Malika, Ovine, Shakali, and then the words you now say after. You say that one is the prophetic. No. You can just enter into prophecy. In as much as you are moved by the Spirit of God. It's not from the flesh. Prophecy has its source in the Holy Spirit. That's the source of prophecy. Everything you say has a source. Some are sourced from experience. Some are sourced from information. Some are sourced even from your family line. Are you following what I'm saying? Some are sourced from your sighting, what you have seen, what you have felt, from your canal. That's the canal, canal source. But some things are sourced from the Holy Spirit. Every prophecy must be sourced from the Holy Ghost. Number three, they can be passed or communicated to man directly or through an oracle of God. Prophecies can come to you directly. God just opened his line and then he begins to speak to you. Silent times, God reveals you to somebody and the person calls you and says, you need to do this. You need to do this. You have to take this word seriously because I know that the office of the prophecy, of, of the prophet has almost become the office of the vagabonds. Uh, but it does not mean God does not have true prophets because there are more rascals there does not mean the journey is not there. In fact, the availability of rascals proves the, journey, the availability of the journey. Do you understand? When you buy a shoe and then you got home and discovered that it was Nike instead of Nike. Have you seen those kind of things before? Abibas instead of Adidas. Now, if I can find Abibas, it means there is something called Adidas. In fact, that's why we call it fake. 
You know, if that person that did Abibas had actually called it 80, eh, you say that's the name of the designer. Are you following what I'm saying? But because they were not sure of themselves, they could not put their own name or came out with a name, but they know you people want designer, so they call it Tommy Infinger. Uh, so you, if that one is very, you get Tommy and I say, ah, early Nick, I can end the hell. Oh my God. You have been sold it. <laughs> you have bought trouble. <laughs> you understand? So what happened is that you bought a fake, but that fake proves and points to the fact that there is an original. When you hear fake prophecy and fake prophet, they prove that there is an original. It's not that we will not take away the water and the baby and say, no, there's not. There is the original. God still speaks to people through men. Are you following what I'm saying? God speaks to people through men. Although the foundation of every prophecy must be proved and sourced from scriptures from scriptures. You can't receive a prophecy now and they say, for you to get married, you have to take your bath in a river. <sighs> which God is this one? Which God is this one that does sabbatical in the, with the marine spirit and, came, and comes back to the normal? You know that this is not the God that your father has told you. Uh, so you, you have to be careful. But there is the original. Prophecies can come from God. Number three, number four now. They can come via that is number four, man of God. Follow the script. Uh, number three, number three is that they can be passed or communicated to man directly or through an oracle of God. That's number three. You get it now. Number one is they are the reveal will of God concerning a people for a time or a season. Number two is that they are not sourced or inspired by the human mind. That's number two. All right. Number three, they can be passed or communicated directly to man or via an oracle and then number four they can come via divine impression dreams visions inner voice or an audible voice of the spirit so what we call prophecy may actually be what is called a divine impression all right how do you know that's your wife how do you know that's somebody to marry you don't have to come to me and start lying you know i had a dream and in that dream she was wearing white. I was wearing gold. Gold suit. Ah, I'm like, are you Paul and ah, Gold suit. Ah, and then I came in. And then and then he also came in. Ah, and then God now. So uh, as I was about to, you now joined us. And you now say, you can hug the bride. I say, yeah. Did you people fall down like that one that they were falling down really on the floor? You get, uh, uh, that, 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 that does not, you just can come and say, I just, I just have an impression. I just, I just have a knowing. I have a knowing. Knowing can be enough. An assurance, a conviction in my spirit. How are you sure you are saved? God did not call you. God did not tell you. I come on there and say, now you are saved. You are my child. No. You had a deep conviction that you are born again. And you are making heaven. That's enough sometimes. An impression. Sometimes you have an impression you should not go on a journey. An impression is enough to stop you. An impression is enough. It's called a divine impression. There's also, also called dreams. Dreams can be divinely inspired. But I, 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 when I get to hearing the Holy Ghost and hearing God speak, I'm going to share with you the dangers of some of these things. You know, you cannot hear God. If, if all you depend on are dreams, and you're not supposed to travel to a place, are you going to now get to the park and say, let me sleep a little and know? So that if I have a dream, I should not go, I'll come out of the car. That, that, that's too late. That, in fact, when you are dreaming the dream and you see death, you might, it might just happen immediately. You may not even be able to drop. So it is dangerous to live your life by dreams alone, especially in the New Testament, because there are other ways now of hearing God. Glory to God. And then visions. Um, um, I, I don't have time to share about visions. Uh, there's something also called the inner voice, which is you hear like two of you are speaking inside of you. Uh, you see, uh, it came to my mind. You are carnal. It didn't come to your mind. That's the Holy Spirit speaking in your mind. But the reason is that it came to my mind. And you know, I, I, I felt I should not have gone. It, it came to my mind I should not have gone. But you didn't do it. It's because you have not grown in your spirit, man. You still live by the flesh. And there's a trouble with that. A carnal man cannot understand the things of God. A carnal man cannot walk fully in the things of the Spirit. That's why we ask you to pray enough in the Spirit. Pray in tongues so that you build up yourself on your most holy faith. That's why we say those things. It's not like there is a formula. It's just that that is the way that guarantees growth in the life of a believer. Amen. And then number five, they are clear into what tomorrow holds and divine possibilities. Prophecies are clear into what tomorrow holds and divine possibilities available to us. So when I hear somebody say to me, 
audacious performance. I'm excited because that's a clue to what tomorrow holds. That's, that's God giving you a peek into your tomorrow. That's a clue to what tomorrow holds. You, you've got a future. You can see the future. And that future, I see it's written boldly. Audacious performances. Audacious performances. Audacious. That means you're going to make bold moves. Where you have been satisfied with 20 people in your company, now you are going to have 200 people. From 200 to 1,000. You say, let's, I think there's room for more. You, something just start telling you, maybe you should change jobs. I mean, you don't know why, but there's a shaking. You're just so uncomfortable with a place where you are comfortable with. And, and somebody just come and say, see that place? See how? Can people like us get there? Audacious performances. You can get there. There is great increase. Sir. There is more in God. It just catapults you from the back of the line and takes you to the front. So that at the end of the day, you begin to ask, how did I get here? Audacious performances. It's not me, it's God. It's not me, it's this goodness. It's giving you a clue so that on this clue you can run. This is like the wing God is setting out. So I can say by this word, I can fly. I can fly. Your flight is dependent on your belief. Blessed is she. Don't forget our anchor verse. That's our memory verse for you. You see one memory verse. I'm, I'm a very nice pastor. Just one memory verse for the year 2023. Very nice. Luke chapter 1 verse 45. Blessed is she that believe for there shall be a performance of that which is said of the Lord. In the last two weeks, I think I've quoted that verse in your hearings almost a hundred times so that it can stick. No matter how dull you are, it can stick. It can stick. <laughs> Do you know you know John 3.16? Even dumb people know John 3.16. Do you know how they know it? No conscious effort. It is by hearing it. When I look at you, and I say, what is God doing? Just say, Luke 145. Luke 145. Blessed is she. Somebody said, I don't like that she. You know, God, some, some people say, they will, they will, it will be nice if, if you had said he. But it's good. That means there's no gender in God. He even loves the woman. Say, bless, that's why there must be a woman in your life this year. I don't, I don't mean that you will get married. <laughs> I, I don't mean you should. Your mother is a woman in your life. <laughs> they said no. <laughs> but, but blessed is she that believes. For there shall be a performance of that which is said of the Lord. Blessed is she that believes. Blessed is she that believes. Blessed is he that believes. For there shall be a performance of that which is I, it means that this is the year of fulfilled promises. It means that this is the year of turning possibilities to realities. It, this is the year where the vision book becomes a vision work. Are you following what I'm saying? What you have said, God said, I will give the nations as your inheritance. You have, he told you 10 years ago, this is the year where they become your inheritance. This is the year where you begin to take it. From Jan... Jan uh -uh, uh -uh. In fact, you begin to dream new dreams because the old dreams would have been performed. There are people here, the dream is to make a millionaire. But when you make a millionaire, you say, what? I think small. I don't know, I should have said 10 million. So you now say, God, is there still room to think? Are you still going to perform it if I can think it in July? So you say, maybe 200 million. A billion naira. Glory to God. So that your inheritance are clear. Some people, all they ever want is a woman. But when you see that woman, you will not discover you need a car. Don't think small now. From now, so that you write it down. As you are thinking woman, think car. Don't get, don't put a woman under pregnancy and then you are under the sun with downfall. It's not a good thing. The Lord delights in the prosperity of his people. He delights in the prosperity of his people. I remember when, when she got pregnant. The moment she got pregnant, they gave me a galopica. It was better. It was better than having nothing. Very much better. I left people under the sun. No, no, there's no, you know, somebody was saying I stood for one hour. Danfo did not come. If you had a galopica, it would have gone. It would have gone. It would have gone. At all, at all, I ain't bad. It would have gone. Are you following what I'm saying? I'm not saying believe for a galopica. Are you following? I never believe for a jalopy. If you know my thinking, you know I can never believe for a jalopy. God. Never did, never can, never will. Glory to God. That's why I did not stay there. Wherever you are, it's your junction right now. It's not your destination. Are you following what I'm saying? It's a junction, but there is a move in God. 
and that moves as you in it. When we say audacious performances, it is the people who make audacious moves that sees performances. You must make moves this year. Don't worry, she's the daughter of Zion. Nothing will happen to her. Continue. I know what I'm saying. Glory to God. Glory to God. Listen, continue in God, but make moves. Make moves. Go and price things. Know how much they are selling things. Yes, don't postpone your wedding because of lack of money. People don't use their money to do wedding. It is faith you use to do wedding. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My mentor told me, I told my I said, we are getting married at the lake the next year. My mentor said, no, no. I said, there's no money. It's not I'm not ready. There's no money. He said, your money you think you used to do your wedding. He said, ah, ah. that's a waste. Even if you have it, you keep it. And the guy, the man told me, the pastor told me. And then I shifted it for, although I didn't shift it for too much. I just moved it to the December of that year. That was what my faith carried. I'm a very truthful pastor. I moved it to December. But you know what? It wasn't my money. If it was my money, I tell people the salary I was collecting that time, if I did not touch it at all, and I keep saving everything, it would have taken me seven years. Seven years to do the wedding. Now they have made it easy for you. You can you can borrow from Piggy Vest, borrow from everywhere. That time there was nowhere to borrow. You borrow with collateral in First Bank or in GTB. I didn't have any collateral, but I had faith. If you have faith, you make moves. You know it takes faith to ask a woman out. She can tell you no, but if you never try, you will never know. Are you following what I'm saying? It takes faith to knock on doors and say, listen, sir, I need a job. Are you following what I'm saying? It takes faith to keep applying. You don't look at your certification to let you put you on the ground because your class of life is not the class of graduation on your certificate. It is the class of the God you serve. So that because you have a third class does not mean you will live a third class life. Are you following what I'm saying? There is a God in your story. And it is the year of audacious performances. I want you to make moves in God. I want you to make moves in God. When we made a move to start the church, and they said 100K per month, it was me and George. We went there. See 100K. We were talking. George did not know what was in my mind. I didn't even have a house. Are you following me? I was, my landlord is here. I had a landlord there. He was there. He's sitting looking at me like this now. My landlord, I didn't have a house. And here were we signing. And we were happy we had a good deal. 100 k per week. Nibo. I, I, we went, I left the place. I checked my account. I think it was 20,500. I should be screen grabbing these things for the days of stories. And I came out. And we said we are starting. We said we are starting May 1st. May 1st we were here. Because God supplied. And from May 1st till now, he's been supplying. If we never make that move, we will never have started. If we never begin, supplies will not come. I'm trying to say supplies comes on the journey. It does not come before the journey. It's called provision for the vision. You will not have it until you take the step for the vision. It's time. Those who are doing things don't have two heads. Is somebody following me? If you find anyone with two heads, they are hydra headed. They are masters, not human beings. They are not better than you. They are only better than you in their mind, in their belief, in their risk taking, in the expansion of their heart. It's audacious performances. You can't sit down. The leper says, sit we here till we die. Till we die. If we go to the city, the people in the city, they don't have food. Do we sit here till we die? He said, let us go. If they will have mercy on us, they will give us food. If not, they will kill us. But let us go. They went there. Be audacious. I die, I die. I live, I live. Be audacious. When they entered, the Bible says something remarkable. As they began to move, those people had a voice. I believe that the lepers were the instrument of movement, even for God. The moment they began to move, those people had, and they started running away. When they ran, they were the first persons, first partakers of the spoils. Listen, for I know, I know human nature. Lepers that have suffered. In Israel, when they are going, they say, unclean, unclean, unclean. They can't buy. They can't interact with people. For them to have carried enough to now begin to do like born again believers 
I say, what you are doing is not good. <laughs> they have kept that they have become almost billionaires. They have carried. They now came and said, what we are doing is not okay. You think they are fools? They have kept. Now say, let's go tell people. That's why I tell people. When the Nigerian said he would teach you how to do forex for uh, for 50,000 uh, Nigerians, when they know how to do something, human nature, they will not teach you. Even if it teaches you, it won't teach you everything. That's human nature. For the lepers to therefore go against human nature, they have kept a loss. And do you know how they came into that blessing? They made a move. Do you know why your life is the same way it is? You have sat down praying and expecting a miracle. I've come to tell somebody 2023, God only do miracles in the life of those who move his hands. Moving God's hands is doing something. Doing something. I told us before, some of us are doing things. Nobody knows. You so nobody knows. Your, how can you be a fashion designer and on your profile, on your status, on your Facebook, you are sharing whiskey, Davido. Is something wrong with you? Somebody that has blown, he has made it. Is the one you are sharing. And people come to your status and they say, ah, that was a very good performance. <laughs> you were talking. Where, where's in your life? Why can't you post a picture of what you saw? Or a cloth that is available so that they can chat you up one day and say, how much is this cloth? Do something. Stop being humble. If you can do it, let people know you can. That's how it will feed you. Let people know you can. Two kinds of prophetic words. Ah, Fisayo. Amen. Amen. You, you are with me, right? There are two kinds of prophetic words. Because this is a home where you also enter into prophecy. Where you become a prophet. Two kinds of prophetic uh, words. Number one, there's what we call participatory prophetic words. Are you following me? Because you see, when God gives a word, I've seen people say, sir, you say, that word did not come to pass. The pastor just said it. Uh, every year they come and, and they, they say, God told me. And nothing happens in our life. It's because you don't understand the prophetic. There is what we call what? Participatory word. Let me first start by participatory. The first one is participatory. The second one is non-participatory. Now, what is that word participatory word? It's that it is the covenanted promises of God that would take your participation in it coming to pass. There was something called the covenant of David. God said, I will establish your throne in Israel and establish your children forever. But do you know what? Because when his son Solomon came on the scene and he started marrying wives, he started doing things that were contrary to that, God took away 11 of the nations from him. And he left him with only one. How is it that that happened to him? Because he did not participate in the word God has given. How was he supposed to participate? By living a life of righteousness. A life of holiness. Living according to the law of God. Are you following what I'm saying? So there are God's word concerning your life that will need your participation. Need your participation. Your prayers. Your reading the scriptures. Your consecration. They are hinged on the participation of man. The Bible says in Psalm 115, verse 6, verse 16, it says, Unto men shall I call, my voice will be to the sons of men. God will call you, but if you don't answer, there will be nothing we do. He needs you. It's not that God cannot do it, it's that God needs man to do it. Many things God will do on the earth, He will do it via men. You know, His son could not have come. He still had to have a virgin called Mary. You know, when Mary, when he came to Mary, Mary had said, I don't want this kind of life. I don't want to give birth as a virgin. He would have found somebody else. He needed his participation. That's why he stayed with him, with her. The angel stayed. Bible said the angel only left after Mary had said, let it be unto your handmaid according to your will. Most words from God are participatory words. And many of the words that God will give you to you personally are participatory. If God says you are going to be, I'm going to increase you and make you the head in the fintech space. Okay? If you sit down and say, I've got a word. I've got a word. 
you will have got a word 60 years after. And that word will see, I've got a word. Because he has said it, it must push you to start praying, confessing. You do spiritual things. You learn the skills that are necessary. Are you following what I'm saying? That's how to participate. You learn the skills that are necessary. You develop relationships that are necessary. You start talking to people that are necessary in order to ensure the performance of that word. Jesus was supposed, supposedly the son of Joseph. But we know, declared by the Spirit of God, he was the son of God. But do you know that he still went and learned from the rabbi? He learned from the rabbi. He went to their synagogue to learn. From, in fact, at the age of 12, they did not find him. He said, don't you know I must be about my father's business? He was in the church. That's the Messiah. If some of you miss, you will not even go to any church. You don't know that I'm the savior of the world. I am the church. I am the church. Glory to God. That's what he will say. Participate. You know, I've seen people say, God has called me to prophet, as prophecy. In fact, I am taking the mantle from Bishop Oedebo. I have the mantle. He is still doing oh yeah, oh yeah for many years because he does not understand that God cannot anoint what he has not proven. He does not understand that God cannot put his grace on what he has not, what does not have the knowledge of him. So you first of all must know him. You first of all must sit down and fast. You must do many things. This is the year 2023 where consecration must be high. You can't follow everything in skirt and trouser. As you follow, you are following with your destiny. You didn't like that. Do like you don't understand it. This year, consecration must be high. Somebody say, why, why, why should I fast and pray more this year? Because I must see the performance of God's word. It's my participation. It is my own side of it. I must keep knocking on God's door and say, you said it, you will do it. You said you would. I'll tell you how to participate. And then number two is what we call non-participatory word. These are words that will come to pass in spite and despite of men. Uh, it includes the eternal will of God for mankind and humanity. You know, in Isaiah 24, verse 14, he says, I stretch forth my hand, no one can turn it back. Verse 17. So surely I have proposed, so will he stand. As I plan it, so shall it come to pass. 14:24 of Isaiah. Listen, some things will come to pass whether you like it or not. Are you following me? That God's will on the heart will be done. There's nothing you can do about that. Are you following me? That Jesus will come back soon. There's nothing you can do about that. That's the eternal will of God. But I've since discovered that when it comes to personal prophecies, most personal prophecies are participatory. And that's where the world lies. Most personal prophecies, they are participating. But if you don't participate, you will not be saying your pastor does not have anointing. You know, that's what you do to pastors. And the strong ones will fast themselves almost to death. Yeah, you have to tell them the truth. It's got to be you and God. Now listen to this. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 18. I tell people you have to cooperate with God's word. You have to cooperate with God's word. Now consider 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 18. He said, this church I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before thee, that thou by them may war a good warfare. So that by prophecies you may war a good warfare. What do you do with the prophetic one? You battle. Who can battle with the Lord? <laughs> but you can battle with the Lord. You can't battle against the Lord, but I can battle with the Lord. That means he carry his sword, I carry my small one. Are you following what I'm saying? So there are some battles I say, God, I don't need God. It's me two good words. He said, they, he got to a time. Somebody said, call Jesus. He said, I, you don't need to call Jesus. I'm here. I am here. <laughs> I am enough. I am enough. So that as he's battling, you are battling. Is somebody following me? Is somebody following me? He said, by then, you may war a good warfare. What were the prophecies concerning Timothy? God was going to use him. He was going to pastor a good church. He was going to be able to raise believers. But he had to battle with that. How do you battle with those words? I'm going to share them with you. This scripture reveals to us that the actualization of God's word is not automatic. I've come to charge somebody like the Paul of old charged them. 
that God's word to us will come to pass, there are things you and I must do. How to experience the fulfillment of prophetic word in your life and then I close. Glory to God. A good man preaches well. Amen. I'm slow today. I, I don't know. I'm not trying to teach you. Is it better or should I increase the speed? It's better. Oh, so you agree that it's slower today? Ah, uh, it we go like a house on fire. Number one, how do you bring and uh, how do you bat the prophetic word in your life? Number one, you must agree with the word. Look at your neighbor and say, Agree. 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 Are you afraid? Look at him. Agree, agree. with the word. God said you, you must you will marry. You first of all must agree with that word. If you don't agree, even if a woman is with you, by your side, beside you, very close to you, is doing eyes, is doing leg, you won't see anything. You won't hear anything. You know why? You are not in agreement with God's word. Is somebody listening to me? You've got to agree with God's word. God's purpose on earth is not achieved without us. God does not bully people to submission as it concerns his will. You must agree with it. It is achieved in agreement with us. You must agree in spirit, in soul, and in body. Do you understand that? Do you know we, there's a prayer we pray? We call it the prayer of agreement. Do you know that prayer? We call it the prayer of agreement. Uh, and then you say, when two of you shall agree concerning a thing, it shall be done. Do you know many believers and many churches will just join hands and will start praying? You know that thing is a waste of time sometimes. Because we don't understand what it is. Somebody is sick and you are thinking, let them buy drugs. You, that you are joining us in agreement. We are saying we are praying the prayer of faith. You are saying, maybe you should go to the hospital. Maybe you should go and buy drugs. You are not in agreement. We are just joining hands. Therefore, we don't find answers because we are not joining hands together. Is somebody following me? Is somebody following me? Now, one of the things God wants for you, and one of the things God wants, is that we agree. That word agree is actually from the Latin word harmony. Have you had people and you think that they are flat when they are singing? Because one person is out of sync. Do you know what I was saying? For instance, when they are singing a good song and the harmony is there and then you suddenly give me the microphone. Do you understand what I'm saying? And then I start singing. You get it? Ah, and then they say, oh, he has changed the key. I don't understand where the key was that I changed it because I didn't touch anything. I was just singing and they say, he has changed the key. What they were trying to say is that he has gone out of sync and out of harmony. You have to be in harmony with God's word. Every decision you make this year must be in tandem with audacious performances. You know when I say this year, I hope you know I'm talking about 2023. Yes, Good. The order I give to you, Timothy, my son, in harmony with the word of the prophet about you, so that by them you may be strong, fighting the good fight. 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 18. Bible in basic English. That's the translation I just read to you. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Amos chapter 3 verse 3. The word of God will not come to pass except you agree with it. You must be in harmony. You must see it every day. You must see it every day. Number two, you must do what? I said you should agree with the word. Number two, you must pray with the word. Somebody says, I, I, I don't even have prayer points. Now I've given you a prayer point. Lord, audacious performances. Lord, audacious performances. In my life, audacious performances. In my business, audacious performances. Everything you have promised, let there be a performance. Everything you have promised, let there be a performance. In my relationship, let there be a performance. Lord, I declare performances in the name of Jesus. You know why prayer is important? Because prayer is giving permission to God to walk in your life. God is not a bully. He will not just come into your life. Uh, there must be an agreement for God to walk in your life. Prayer is to permit God to walk on your behalf. Yes, God has given his word. He has revealed his plan to us. But we must learn to give him permission. Because we are created with beings, as beings with choices. God does not go outside of choice. That's the first law of God. You know, I don't know whether you read scriptures with an open mind. And then you read that in the beginning God created and then he made Adam. And he said to them, they should not eat of the fruit of the garden. I don't know whether you are like me that I began to say, God, now you're wrong now. You should have made them in such a way that they cannot get to the fruit of the garden. You could have made 
made them that way. But God said that would mean they are not man, they are robots. What thing that makes you a man is the ability to make choice, choices. Is the ability to choose. So you can choose not to have audacious performances. But I believe that you will not choose that in the name of Jesus. Remember, all of God's plan must be activated in the place of prayer. Matthew chapter 6 and then verse 10. You know that our Lord's prayer? Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus in prayer gave permission for God's will. Do you know that? That's in Matthew 26 verse 42. He went to that mountain and as he was praying, do you know that he got to a time? He said, not my will, but yours be done. In prayer, you must give permission to God. You must. And then number three, make room for the word of God. We've got five. Number three, make room for the word of God. To make room means to prepare. To make room means to allow. You must prepare for the performances of God. You must prepare. Somebody must prepare to get a good job. You must prepare to leave that job as a secretary. You have stayed in that place, no promotion for many years. It's enough. I think we were in a meeting yesterday and Tosin was saying that this is not the year to labor again. They say we should serve, serve, serve. They say 2023, my plan is that the reward should come. You know, they say hey, you have to pay the seed. You have to sow the seed. He said, I have sowed enough. He said, this time, we want the harvest. We want the harvest. I think it is time for you to know that that is, what, what do you want? Make room. That's how to make room. You make room for the harvest. The store a farmer prepares when he's farming two plots. It's not the same plot the store he prepares when he has two acres or hectares. That's not the same. Because now he's expecting more harvest. I'm asking you to expect more harvest. You see, some of us ladies, the way we are even doing, you know when ladies, when a lady is in a relationship, she's brighter. She's brighter. She's smiling. She's more confident, more bold. She feels like, now I'm on top of the world. Hey, hey. Listen, before he comes, you have to prepare. Prepare by smiling. Smell different. They say you're in relationship. I'm, I'm in love with Jesus. Glory to God. Dress different. Look different. Do differently. Stop doing like the old trouble of the world is with you. I've told people that people are not attractive when they look burdened. Nobody comes to because you see, Lagos is too tough. It's tough enough, enough for me to now add another toughness to it. The way your high sees is tough. It's tough. I know you are going through troubles, but troubles should not go through you. <laughs> Make room. Let there be a spring in your steps, a chip on your shoulder. You are a prosperous man. You are a prophetic man. You must live as, it, as though it had happened. Let your faith activate the prosperity and the performances of God's word. Live like if you are living in the heavenlies. Build your life around the prophetic word. Number four, meditate on the word of God. So I expect some of us to have gone home and look at the meaning of the word performances. What does the word performance, what does it mean? I know I've shared it with you. I've tried to break it down and explain it. But what does that word audacious, what does it mean? I love that word audacious. It means to be fearless. To be fearless, to be bold, to be daring, to be ready to take risk. God's no what is consequence when God is backing me up? There are no consequences. There can only be good consequences. Yes, I'm with God. I'm for God. God is by my side. Be audacious. Make moves. Make moves. Those who prosper are not better than us. They make a move by starting that complaint. You have been planning to start for 10 years. They started. They started. Some people have been building apps now before their mom. I was going to say for their mom even married their dad. But that's just that you, how long they have been building the app. He said, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. You better launch the thing and be getting perfection on the road. There is no idea you have that somebody is not thinking about. So the law of being forced and the privilege of being forced, you are not going to win it. And you know, in Nigeria, the privilege of being forced is like two months. It's two months. 
when you do a project, it's new. Somebody see you prosper in it, especially when you post a picture that you bought a car. Everybody's doing it. I remember like three years ago, many young guys did not do estate. They did not do real estate in Lagos. They were not doing it. But when some guys came, ah, and then they say Benz, they say Jeep, ah, every young person I know now is a realtor. They are either selling land in Ekwe or selling in Ekorodu or Ota. They are just selling land. So that even the sellers are more than the buyers. <laughs> but the first people who did it, they have diversified to something because they have seen that they have spoiled this market. <laughs> That's why you must go now. Get into it now. Some people are building fintech app. Ah, I pity you. Do you know how many fintech apps are? The one that will come in 2023, some people are launching in January. I didn't say one person, some people. Many. The, the, the sphere. You are just going to go and learn tech now. You better go and learn tailoring. <laughs> because the among numbers of people that are there that don't even have a job yet. Before you will now know it. <laughs> I'm telling you things that you will not find on the pages of newspaper. Because when you get there, and you now say, but they told me, oh, they, they told me that if I do back end, I will get the back enders are now at the end i'm telling you say now they now they say ashwan uh, uh, learn another language learn another. <laughs> by the time you had people have already known it better go and learn something else the, you see this year is the year to develop your skill yes, sir. the year to develop your skill somebody came to my house a chef doing grills the thing changed my mind changed my mind about education they have been duping us for a long time. I'm telling you. The man was telling me, he said, he was offering me a job. And he was telling me 150k per month. And I'm looking at him. His English was not good. 150k per month is not enough. He said, no, I can't take it. I told him he should give me like 315% share in his company. Of course, you are making grills. Shama. He said, my shama is the best. He said, do you know I put cheese in my shama? Ah. The guy was so sure of him. He said, this is not a jash shawarma. He said, this is lekki. I make lekki shawarma and vi ko ik. It's not for, you know, some go tell all those places. I don't make shawarma for them and all of that. And the guy was so sure. He was telling me 300k. 350. And I know people who graduated when I graduated. Should I tell you when I graduated? 13 years ago. That's 130 years ago. The way I think it in my head. 13 years ago. Are you following me? They had not earned 60,000 per month. One guy doing grill is telling me that 200,000 is not enough. We have been duped. All of us have been scammed. I'm telling you. We have been scammed. If you don't get that, admission, you are crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. There is a lot. I hope you know that in this Lagos, not everybody you see are graduates. They just speak good English and dress well. And their results, you cannot even ask them did they graduate because of their results. Because even you, <laughs> with best graduating students, in not private university, you know the way federal university students are very proud. Say if I had gone to a private school, I would have had a first class. Uh, now you went to second, uh, sorry, great if with your great if look at how great your account is. <laughs> no, I need to say these things. I saw that sometimes I go to grills and I talk to those, some of those people like they are poor. Now I, I will be talking to them differently. Because of them are richer than us. They, they are very sure. Don't deceive yourself. He said one guy in half here yeah, pays 400 k for his space every month. You don't understand that. For him to be paying 400 k every month for his space. Do you know how much he's making? I told somebody, I said, maybe you're making 700000 I said, Pastor, why do you think like this? Somebody making 400 in Lagos. He's making like 1.2. That's why he's paying 400 1.2 million for Greece, shawarma, and the guy sleeps at home when you are running for traffic. He resumes work 2 p.m. They open for market 5 o'clock. You, you, by that 5, you are tired. You are done. Because you woke up to be track at 4 a.m. And you see them on drone and say, you see the stupid people, they didn't go to school. Yanje. Respect yourself. Respect yourself. People doing made in Lagos earn more than some salary earners who are graduates. 
I'm telling you, maybe you should stop looking for this kind of job you are looking for. I'm telling you. I'm, they are just cheating you. I'm telling you. Interact with people and you will discover that you have been scammed. You have been scammed. That certificate that makes you pompous, you will be very gentle. Humility will come to you. What was I saying before I got to that? <laughs> oh my God. Sit on God's word and meditate. What does it mean to meditate? It's from that Hebrew word agar. What does that word agar mean? It means to eat something and then chew it as a cord and then regurgitate it and eat it again. Do you know what regurgitating is? That means they have a ruminatory system that can recall what they have eaten and start eating it again. You know some human beings do it. Don't say yamao, but people do it. They, have, they can regurgitate and, mm, and then they chew. So you say, what are you eating? They have eaten pandemic since morning. They bring it back to him and start eating it again. Regurgitation. Listen, that's what it means to meditate. What you ate, even five days ago, spiritually, when you are ready, you can bring it back and start eating it again. That's what it means to meditate. Do you understand it now? Meditate on the word performance. Break it down. And then finally, so that we can go. If there is anything you need to do more than anything else this year, is that you must battle with the prophetic word. You must fight. Some of you are too gentle. Waiting, go be, go be. If I hear you come to me, can say, wait, go, slap you. Sorry, I won't do that, but the way I will talk to you, you will not like. What? There's nothing waiting, go be, go be. There's not what will be, will be. It is us that make it so. It is us that make it so. Hallelujah. You need to stand against anything that is contrary even to the word of God. You must refuse by all means and by all ways never to settle for anything less than the prophetic word. Paul told Timothy, he said, wage a good warfare. You must wage a good warfare. I don't care how long it takes you, what it takes you, but you must battle for the prophetic word. Anything wants to come and, and say, I want to introduce fear into your heart. You refuse it. You stand on your feet and say, devil, get out now. Somebody say, who are you talking to? You say, don't worry, let me quickly deal with this thing first. That's how to deal with it. That's how to win. The word is an assurance of victory. What God has said to us is God's promises to us. He has told us prosperity and we must believe it. He has told us performance, we must believe it. Remember as you go ahead into 2023, that most times the purpose of the prophetic word is not just fulfilled automatically. You make it happen. And it's my prayer for you that the prophetic word will be fulfilled in your life. I pray for you for a full expression even of the expressive power of God to perform His will. I pray for you that you walk in unlimited performances and every hanging fruit of promises in your life is to become a fulfillment even this year in the name of Jesus. Stand on your feet. Go ahead in 2023. Go and win. Look at everyone and say, audacious performance. That is not, there's nothing audacious in what you just said. That's fear. You say with boldness. Fearless. Some of you, you are so, yeah, I don't know, sir. I don't, if you say that, my, I'll do it about you. So that I will kick away from you every spirit of fear. Every spirit of fear. The Bible says he has not given us one spirit of fear, but of power of love and of a sound mind. Of a sound mind. The lion is as bold. The righteous is as bold as a lion. Oh, there's a sound that must come from your house every morning. Is you roaring? Are you following what I'm saying? Is you roaring? Don't cry. What is crying? You have been crying. You are almost depressed. What is that? Stand on your feet and say today. That's the end of it. That's the end. Oh, pardon me. When I say it ends, it ends. Look at your neighbor and say audacious performances. The Bible says in Proverbs 30 and 30, he said the lion, he said he's the, of the beast in the forest. He said, but he does not turn from any other. He doesn't turn from any other. He, he, he doesn't turn from fear. He doesn't turn from trouble. You troubled with trouble. Yes, sir. Is it what you want? You want trouble? We have it. Are you following me? Somebody said, what if you come to church and the people who own the say you cannot continue? I said they will close the church. It's okay. But they will also close this place. Are you following what I'm saying? Are you following what I'm saying? 
They say, why are you that difficult? No, it's trouble for trouble. You, I am a very gentle person. But if you want trouble, we pack it in full. Are you following me? I remember one guy. Sorry, it's not a guy. It's my, it's my brother-in-law now. He married my sister. Are you following me? So he came. And my, my father was talking to him and all of that. I saw him only once before we got married. I called him outside. My sister did not know this conversation. I said, the day you mistreat my wife, my sister. I said, okay. He said, he said, and now it was I like, said I was smiling. <laughs> I said, you just do it, just try it. <laughs> I said, have a good day. <laughs> so when people see us, the way we even deal with me is a little bit, it's not, it's awkward, but it's okay. <laughs> because we give what? Trouble for trouble. But when you love, we love you. But when you say we will not progress. See, all day they say well, you will not make tomorrow, you will cry, you are calling me, I will sleep off. Because immediately they say it, don't leave them. One of the things I said yes, last week was that you must outspeak the devil. The moment it says in your ears that, ah, will I get into the end of 2023 like this? You stand up and say, I will get to 2028. I will get to 2030. I will be here when they have even said you are gone. 2050. In fact, Toba Jekwe 3000 will be here. Your business will not die. Your company will not die. Your work will not die. Everything you own is protected. Raise your hand one minute and speak in tongues one minute. This is not how to speak in tongues in 2023. This is not how to make it louder, make it bolder. Shepe mene no fratiti le braka o sono ke li ati di broka bali e tete su ataya ene fofo le pai da bashi rosina kanpa le tutu e de 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 kra tutu le pasi ataya ba o mande le balu be le kai da basha sene mene braka ti le fronda thank you for listening this has been the living word if you have been blessed by this teaching or for counseling or any other inquiry, kindly send us an email to pfa at the ransomedhouse.com or fisayoadenii at yahoo.com or please call 0912-772-3824. The Ransomed House, empowering people to live for Jesus.